Hello guys, that's Gathy's new sister today, and welcome back to an episode of How to Build a Cruise Ship in Minecraft. Today we are going to be building the shops. That is one thing that every good cruise ship needs, and one thing that a lot of people commonly forget to do. So, this is going to be a relatively short episode, because they are kind of two small parts of the ship, but they are also very important. So, you're going to have two shops usually. You're going to have a jewelry shop, and a uh, cruise ship shop, which is like just basically stuff they sell around the ship, like liquor and souvenirs and stuff. So, um, we're going to put one on one side, one on the other. So, first off, you're going to want to get your supplies. So we're going to go ahead and take some of the wood paneling from here because that's what we're going to be continuing down because we want to make sure that we maintain the same kind of theme all the way down as well as this little uh, hallway here. So I'm going to go ahead and actually kind of make a hallway design. This one thing you might want to do as well is make a hallway design just so it kind of looks nice. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and continue that all the way back there. And you just kind of fill this in, so I'm going to go ahead and or actually, give me a minute. Um, okay, actually, plan. I'm going to move this to go right about here. So that's kind of like the space we're going to be working with right to, uh, right here. I'm going to put it on the other side. Let's go. All right. I'm just going to make sure that's on that side. And this one's in here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and fill five, two. And we'll change the floor color just for now. Um, I'm going to go ahead and fill this in. That was the wrong block. I'm not thinking today. It's been a long day. We all have long days. There we are. So then we just kind of have like a nice little line going down the middle. And, and you know, it looks halfway decent. So, uh, in fact, if you, if you want to, you can take like these and make it go down. Have like a nice hallway type design just all the way down. It's really up to you. Again, with the whole the whole point of this cruise ship though is that it, a lot of it is relevant to what you want. It, it, it's really customizable. And that's one thing that a lot of people don't realize, they just make like white walls and white floors, but you can really customize this thing, like, that's why there's really no specific way to make an exact cruise ship in Minecraft, it's kind of just your gut and kind of what you want to go with, because a lot of it is just your, per your personality, kind of just reflects your personality or your style, so, um, that is the purpose in that, so, as you see now we have a nice hallway right there, I'm gonna go ahead and make this panel go out to about here. Alright, so this will be the entrance to the shop. And I can add actually a window. Actually, no, I'm not. I'm not gonna add a window right there. Alright, so the inside of the shop, this one's probably going to be the jewelry shop. We'll make this one the jewelry shop. So you want to keep lighter colors in the jewelry shop because that's typically kind of like what it reminds you of, um, such as quartz. Uh, you know, just kind of some nicer stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a panel design with quartz like this. And when I say panel design, it's just basically a wall design. And I'm just used to calling it panels. So, um, because it looks like there's like a panel kind of thing going on. I don't know. That's just what I do. So I'm going to go ahead and do this go all the way around. I'm going to make it go here. I'm going to make it go out like this. Alright. So, something like that. Um, and this is going to be the space of the jewelry shop. I'm going to make this go out here as well. So on the outside of the jewelry shop, you're allowed to have like the white, like even though it doesn't blend with the panels, it's still kind of like a shop design. So you're perfectly allowed to have that because it just represents the theme of the shop. And I'm going to make these poles up here. Like I said, spacing usually is about three. Uh, like I said last episode, it's typically one of the better ways to go. And it's kind of just a good rule of thumb. So I'm going to go ahead and put in some windows right there. Oops. Windows are also very important. You want to make sure that you maintain windows. It's a big thing. I'm actually going to make these some nice black windows. Alright. And this one, I'm not even going to bother. Right. Well, you know, we'll just make this one big window. That's perfectly fine. Windows can kind of be random. They just got to be there. Uh, and then the back of this, we'll just put in some nice chiseled quartz. Looks nice. And it looks kind of fancy. Just like it would be. So, on this side, you want to have glass. Now, you can do different glass designs as well. I like use a multi color glass, which is what I'll be doing. So, I'll, I'll have uh, the darker color on the bottom, which is black, and I'll have it with a lighter color on the top, just because it kind of goes well and it's just a good design for a shop. You can kind of do whatever you like, but again, this is just what I would do. Um, where did the chiseled go? Oh, there it is. I'm going to go ahead and fill this wall in with chiseled stuff. All right. Okay, um, you're also going to want some beacons, like I said, because these are really, really good lighting and glowstone just kind of looks cheesy, so I tend to stay away from it. I'm going to put it on most of these poles. That should be plenty of light. The, the beacons really do light up the place quite a bit, so that should be uh, plenty of light. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get the glass back because I accidentally deleted it with the beacon. 
Alright. So then just make the top wall. Again, these are these are usually two blocks tall. They're really big glass because the point is that like when customers are trying to shop for things and they walk around the promenade, they usually put display items like near the windows or really expensive ah, come on. Really expensive things in the windows so that it's kinda like, oh you know I want that, and then they go inside and see the price, but uh, the whole point is just really getting inside. So and there we are. We'll go ahead and make this actually the doorway. So I'm gonna make this actually quite a wide doorway uh, because it's just, it, it just looks nice. It's, it's really welcoming inside. So there we go. Now we have the basic foundation. Now yes, it is small, but uh, just keep in mind shops kind of are small. If you've ever been in one in the cruise ship, they typically are one of the smaller rooms in the vessel. So I'm going to go ahead and change the floor as well because the floors are typically different colors. So you can kind of be random with this, but make sure it kind of goes along. So I'm just going to set these as different types of wood. So uh, this would be like 5-1, five, 5-2, one, five, um, should be a period, comma. Oops, I put a period right there. Alright, so like 5-3, I'm just going to go all the way to 5-4. Wood usually is a really, really good combination to do. It, it will usually always look good. So, that's one thing that you can always do. If you're kind of like confused on what kind of floor pattern you want, wood usually always looks good together. So, uh, that's one thing that you can be sure of if you're ever in need of, you know, a floor. And see, that this kind of goes together. The light wood goes with the light walls. And it just is kind of a welcoming feel almost. So, I'm going to go ahead and fill these in where the glass kind of hangs out. Alright, so now we have a nice foundation. So, uh, we're going to go ahead and make the front desk, which I will just make quartz right there. I'm going to go ahead and get some carpet like this. I'm going to put two right there, as well as a fence, some glowstone, or not glowstone, we need redstone lamps, redstone lamp like that, as well as a lever, and this is going to create like a, uh, like, if you guys have ever been in a grocery store, which I'm almost positive all of you have, um, they have like lights that kind of tells you what counter is open, and that's kind of just the point of that, it just says, you know, oh hey, this counter is open, and then, you know, even if you want to, you can get like a seat or something and put it back here for the person to sit in if you're really that generous, so, um, there we go, you can kind of close it off like that, and there's your kind of area, and you can put the counter over here as well, it's just a nice counter area, but, um, over here is where we're going to be making the rest, so I'm going to put these down, and th you'll see what these are in a minute, but just follow my lead, so you want me to put like two down, every couple spaces like that and you're gonna want to get some glass you want clear glass for this make sure you use clear glass and if you do that you'll see it looks like a display case um, which is where they put the jewelry because usually jewelry is never shown off there I've never seen it done because it's a really stupid idea you know just just asking for it to be stolen so um, that is what that is. You can have a glass top, or you can have like a carpet on the top and kind of make it, you know, like exclusive or lights or something. I don't know. You can kind of be creative with this, but that is how you make the main jewelry cases. So like that. And there, see, you have a nice little jewelry shop going on in here. Now, granted, you can put shelves and stuff if you want to, or if you want to put like a center type place, like if you want to get some maybe quartz stairs. You want to go around like this. Or it's not going to work, is it? But you can like make like a centerpiece like that um, and put like a carpet over it or something and make it look like a shelf. You can do that, but the problem is like it's gonna look really, really cramped. Like as you can see, this is really cramped right now, which some people may not like. So keep that in mind. Um, so we'll keep that there for tutorial purposes, but that's kind of an option. You can really go as detailed as you want. It, it's really up to you, but I think this is plenty for a jewelry shop. Uh, and then you're gonna want to go outside, get yourself a sign. All right. And then just put maybe like, um, decorate the sign, like say 7C's Jewel Jewelry. And there we go, so we have a nice little jewelry shop going on right there. And I'm sure if you want to add detail, like you might want to put like some, uh, like a base like this. You most certainly can, it does look good. I've done it before in some of my ships. Um, I just, I don't know, it just kind of looks fat to me, and that's why I usually don't do it. But you can definitely do that if you wanted to. But I guess kind of like it bare. I don't know, that's just kind of my taste, but again, it is completely up to you on um, what you want to do with that, or, you know, I've seen it where it's like this, and it's like kind of like podiums just kind of holding up the ceiling, kind yeah, of remind you of a jewelry store or something. I don't know, but uh, uh, those are kind of some stuff I've seen. So you can kind of be creative with that on the outside, or you can just directly copy this one, that's perfectly fine. So uh, there you are, and if you want to, you can paint like a, kind of like a, or like an entryway right here if you wanted to. Kind of make the hallway just bend into here, like that. And you know, just it's just kind of welcoming almost. So 
Um, and maybe if you want to make like this hallway that goes back here, because as you see, I'm making a hallway that goes past the stairs. So you can kind of make this branch off if you wanted to and make it look like, yeah, like three ways to go. That's perfectly fine as well. Really, anything's perfectly fine. It's just a matter of your taste and uh, interest on what you want. So you can kind of follow this path and go this way, or you can not. It's really up to you. Um, one thing that you might want to do is, since we have an open space right here, it is not a bad idea to go ahead and put in a support beam. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Just get like this and get some light-colored wood. Um, you know, something real simple. If you maybe if you want to even put like a bench around it, you could even do that. Um, it really, nothing's really stopping you, so it has like a bench right there people can sit at, or if you want to do like a different style bench, if you want to make this with the armchairs, you know, and then have this one with the armchairs, yeah, like an individual seat right there, you know, that, that's kind of like uh, stuff you can do, um, but another good thing though about these the posts, then these support beams, that you can always put like a beacon on top of it, and it may, it, it just really lights up the place, but if you don't like the, uh, the thing of like a bare beacon, if you don't like the idea of like a, be a beacon being really, really bare, I mean, get, let's, you get this trap door here, like this, I hope it doesn't work on this one, I thought it did, okay, so it works on glowstone, it doesn't work on this, never mind, I uh, forget what I just said, Alright, so there you go, you have like a support beam right there, if you want to add more you could. Um, actually I'm just going to get some of these darker ones, I think this looks a little bit better. But yeah, you definitely want a couple of these, it's definitely going to help you in the long run. So I'll get a beacon and put it like, we can put actually these beacons on the wall, like this. Alright, so you have beacons lighting the place up and it looks nice, I don't like that one there though. Alright, so there you go, now you have these support beams going everywhere. Um, you can even put like a base on them. It's really just up to you, kind of what you want. I don't know. It, it's it's so customizable with these cruise ships, guys. I cannot exaggerate that enough. It is these cruise ships are so customizable, just unbelievably. Um, okay, so this is jewelry shop, but we still need to make another shop. We still need to make the souvenir shop. So this is where you get like your little model ships, or you know, just just stuff you get on the cruise. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. I'm gonna extend this out here, like this. And um, I'm actually going to go with the same pattern on this one, just because this one typically does go with the style of the ship, unlike the jewelry shop, where it's kind of its own individual company. Uh, but this store actually will usually be the same theme as the rest of the ship. Uh, or at least on the ships I've been on, that's kind of the case. So it's just going to kind of maintain that same dark light wood, you know, sandstone aspect of it. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly, you know, congruent to the jewelry shop. It can be a little bit different. That is perfectly fine. It is really up to you. If you're like an OCD freak and need it to be, you know, a specific way, then, you know, go, by all means, go ahead. Uh, but if you're like me and just don't really care, you can do it like this to make it look more random, I guess. I don't know. Uh, so there we go. I'm going to go ahead and add the paneling. All right. These are actually going to be windows. Put these in. Like that. Um, go ahead and get these, put these in. Alright, and I need the glass, I'm gonna go ahead and grab from over here. And, oops, get in there. Come on. Go ahead and do that. And there we go, now we have that kind of thing sorted out. Oh, I need to do this side as well. And I'll do this side too. Okay, now we'll just make this the glass type of part. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the glass. This one, can you, this one, I've seen them be uh, normal glass actually, and typically that's what looks best for souvenir shops. They're a lot more simplistic than you'd think. Uh, they're not as detailed as jewelry shops. They don't really have uh, that same wow aspect, because it's more or less just souvenirs. You know, it's just, there's the cheap stuff. There's the stuff where the cruise line really isn't gonna make a lot of money, so they usually don't spend that much money building them or designing them or put the resources, because not a lot of people are gonna buy stuff here compared to other parts of the ship. Um, actually, believe it or not, cruise ships make the most money off of alcohol. Uh, that's actually a true fact. You can look it up. They make most of their money off of selling drinks, so... Uh, I thought that was rather interesting, so... Uh, there we go, now we have that, and I'm gonna go ahead and grab a sign. This can just be, um, just a souvenir shop, so since this cruise line is called OCL, OCL, you know, uh, souvenirs. I, I, I'm pretty sure I spelled that wrong. I really don't know how to spell souvenirs, uh, but I'll look it up later. So, now that we have that done, um, we're gonna go ahead and fill in the floor. Again, the floor is going to be pretty much the same as the other ones. It really doesn't matter. The wood is a really good combination to go with just because it, um, it, like I said, it just always looks good. It really does. 
Uh, in fact, in a lot of fancy sp places in the ships, you'll see me use that in my ship specifically, and that's just because they basically... They, it makes it look more fancy and more elegant than it really is. And if you've ever been on a carnival ship, you know carnival's good at that. Uh, so, I'm gonna put benches along the side just to make it like a kind of a welcoming space inside the ship. Alright, come on, work with me. There we go. Stupid thing. Okay, this thing does not want to work with me. I swear this thing hates me. Okay, there's not gonna be a bench there. There's gonna be a bench here. <laughs> That's all the benches we need. Alright, I can go ahead and make this branch out as well. Just this hallway. Alright. Here we are. Okay, so now I have that going on. And it's kinda dark over here. Let me see if I can find a beacon somewhere. The hardest part is fitting lighting into the ships because it just, sometimes it just looks it looks random. So as you see, I found a place right there. But sometimes I, I don't know. It's just really hard to find places. So that's one thing you have to watch out for, and that's one thing the support beams come in handy with. Uh, it's just being able to put in the lights that are necessary. There we are. All the way in there. Again, we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. I'm gonna add in this little bit right here. Add that. Get the redstone. Get the lever. Oops. There we are. Alright, put this up, put the lever down. And um get a chair if you wanted. Alright, and then we have the checkout counter. Um, but instead you're not gonna put jewelry stuff in this one. You're actually going to put shelves. I'm gonna change the lights in here because it's not bright enough. Okay. There we go, that should be good. Okay. So I'm going to use spruce wood just because it's darker and typically that's kind of the way it is. Especially in a place that's selling booze, it's just kind of the architecture, that's just kind of the way it is. So you're going to want to put these shelves kind of along these walls here. You can make them up to ceiling height, but I usually don't because it just makes it look too cluttered. I usually make it two blocks up like that. And it just, it just makes for nice shelves. Uh, and you know, that's really just the only thing you're going to be selling your stuff's on shelves. Like, it's just souvenirs. So, uh, really just anything you can find on a shelf. But when you make shelves that are too high, you want to make sure that you get a slab like this and put it on top so it's a closed shelf. Because as you can see right here, it's just a shelf without a roof. If you put this over it, then it's a shelf completely. Ugh, come on, beacon. There we go. Um, actually, that's another thing. If you guys want to put stuff over beacons, if you guys don't know how to do that, just hold down shift. So well, that's one thing uh, that can come in handy. And I think that actually finishes it. Although I do want to put a beacon on here. Okay, so there we go. That is how you build the shops. Uh, they can be more detailed than this, and they can be bigger if you wanted. It's just I don't feel the need to fill in that much space for shops when you could be using it for nightclubs and bars and everything. So uh, that's why I just made these two so small. But thank you guys very much for watching and the support of this series. Be sure to subscribe to the channel for more. I'm going to be trying to upload more stuff in the future. I just really haven't been able to because I'm an incredibly busy person. So uh, that is kind of the reason for that. But thank you guys for sticking around, and I'll see you guys next time. As always, have an awesome day. Oh.